Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoyed that little cinematic intro to this video. Um, in this video, I just want to share my inspiration for the sketch calendars that I have created for this year. I am also just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who has already put in their pre-order. It is really, really encouraging for me to know that you want to have one of these calendars in your home next year and it's really nice to be supported in that way. Just to let you know, I'm going to be putting in my print order for the calendars at the end of September. So if you want to get them whilst they're on a discount for pre-orders, then please hop over to my website. The link will be in the description below and you can bag yourself a calendar too. So I thought what would be really nice is just to share with you the original sketches that are in the calendar. So here are the boats at Cadwyff and they kind of live on the cove. What I really love about these boats are the colours of them. They're just so bright and beautiful and there's a real sense of um, community around Cadwyff and the fishermen are a big part of that community. This was the um, sketch drawing that I did of those boats to begin with. You can see it was um, in the summer of 2020. So I worked from this sketch to create the originals. I'll try and um, share with you my sketch drawings that relate to each of these. So this was another part of Cadwyff, this time kind of looking down into the space so you can see here are those boats. Um, as you can see there's a lot more little boats as well and this is the net loft in Cadwyff. This actually just received a lot of crowdfunding to keep them as fishermen's net lofts because I think they were going to be used or sold off and that would have really drastically changed the, um, the emphasis of this area. Again, here was the original sketch that I did that inspired that. Here is the blue boat. This is a favourite of mine. I think because I actually did it around my birthday and I think it was one of the real first drawings that I did kind of with this mixed media and one that I felt really captured the energy of, this, of the place. So here it is in my book and it's, it's pretty similar. These are old abandoned cottages at Kynance Cove. So we've got Asparagus Island in the distance here. And I always, every time I visit Kynance, I always like to go and see these cottages. They are abandoned, but something quite nice and attractive about them. And I also really love the bush, the flowers that grow around this area as well. This is Mullion Cove, so up here where I'm drawing this um, is just off the coastal path and you can look across to the cove, the harbour, and you've got these really nice stacks here. And just over this area here is Mullion Island. I think what I really enjoyed about this one was trying to get all the different shades and colours of the cliffs. If you have a closer look you can see there's lots of greens and browns and ochres. And then you've got um, very steep 
cliff that goes down into the water and then you've got the rocks at the bottom. This is a red boat at Helford. This was actually inspired by my postcard that I drew um, on my release from my quarantine. So I'd been in quarantine for two weeks and I went and saw this red boat there and it was so nice and, and um, just beautiful to see it that it, I knew I had to do a colour version of it. So I've got my black and white postcard It's interesting actually because of doing the daily postcard every day in 2020 I travelled a lot around the peninsula just sketching and so I think it's funny I think that really actually helped me get to this point of doing the colour sketches even though these are look completely different by doing the black and white postcards I think they just really helped develop my ability to see and definitely see dark areas and light areas and um, how the shapes of objects and the shapes of things coming to do these I don't know I just felt that I'd done a lot of groundwork so yeah that, that was quite interesting so this was Coverack Coverack Harbour and again I did a couple of postcards in and around Coverack Harbour with the fishing boats and what I really like about this one is just the sea and the way you've got this really quite bright colours and then you've also got the the shadow and the 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 depth it just yeah I just really enjoyed doing this one This view is of Kynance Cove again. So you've got the cottages, the abandoned cottages, which you see here. So you're looking at it from a different viewpoint, whereas I would have been drawing around the corner and, and here. So this is another viewpoint. And again, this was based on a um, postcard that I did, which I actually do have here. So just a bit more expanded, but you can see that the lay of the land the little cottages nestled in there. This is of Mullion Harbour and again it's a different viewpoint so you're kind of seeing the the way that the harbour kind of comes around and is nestled sort of amongst the cliffs so there's a really steep cliff here that goes down and then you've got a little bit of Mullion Island here. This was based on a little sketch that I did of the harbour. It's, it's like a little zoomed in version in my sketchbook and then when I did it on paper I kind of zoomed out a bit. And here's Kynance Cove. So we've got a full view of the Asparagus Island and all the little islands around. It's a very popular spot to visit in Cornwall. It's normally very busy during the summer and so I tend to stay away during the summer although I think last year I did visit and that's where I got the inspiration. Um, again there's a video on my channel where I sketch and um, so yeah this was the sketch that I did. This one actually is really really simple in comparison and I think this bit here is a bit off. Um, but yeah, you can see how I sketched this at 7.45 in the morning. And this view is of the Lizard Point. So you've got the Lizard Lighthouse here. And then you've got really interesting rock formations here and I, I think this rock here is called Bumble Rock so it kind of just sticks out. Another beautiful spot to walk and visit.
and then finally here we are back in Cadworth. So again this was kind of inspired by one of my postcards that I did of the Cadworth Cove Crab building. So this is right by the cove again, so just around the corner or where all the boats kind of live on the on the cove. Um, but I knew I when I did this, I knew I needed to come back and do a you know a full colour one of it. So you can see this is from a different direction looking that way, whereas this is looking down. And um, when I came back and sketched it, there was um, the, all the boats were up. Um, as if they've been brought in to rest. I thought it was quite apt to have this one for December when all the boats come in and just have a rest over the winter season. Those are all of the images, the pieces that will be in the calendar, in the 2022 calendar. And um, yeah, I've, I'm really pleased with the results of this and this project. And, and I'm also feeling like I've brought it to a good finish. You know, I, what started in my sketchbook in 2020, I produced um, pieces from it, original pieces. And now it's also in a product that I can uh, distribute to others and they can be inspired by the drawings. So if you want to get yourself a calendar I've put the link below and it's now on pre-order. Just use the link below and that will take you to my shop where you'll be able to purchase it.